I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to be me. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to be me. It's time, it's time, it's time to be free. Good morning, happy day of thanks, which to me is every day. You see what I'm having for breakfast, popcorn and green juice. I ain't stressing over, <clears throat> oh my goodness, is everything going to be done by the time everybody gets here? The only thing I'm stressing over is, will I get in that shower and, <laughs> and get dressed before my son gets here to pick me up so we can go to Golden Corral? But anyways, I do need to get started because it takes me a long time to get ready. Okay, my son changed things up on me without telling me until like last minute. So we were supposed to go eat at 3 o'clock. Originally, yesterday, he said 1 o'clock. And I'm like, why so early? We'll be hungry again with no leftovers because we're going to Golden Corral. So then he said, well, I don't know, some kind of, some kind of way we figured on 3 o'clock today. So, I'm perfectly right. Look what time it is. I timed everything well. I got my juice in, everything to be on time for 3 o'clock. Now, he's changed up the plan, and he's saying 3.34. Well, this stomach is not going to hold out. Oh, shoot. I've got to take my meds. Hang on. So, anyway, I'm going to eat some eggs to hold me over. Now, I don't want it to mess me up, though. Hang on. Let me make this. I really hope that this egg will hold me over. Oh, heartburn. Guys, I have been on Gaviscon since, I don't know, early summer, before summer, I'm not sure. I'm telling you, this heartburn, I can't imagine what it would feel like if I wasn't taking the Gaviscon, but I'm really trying to come off of some of that medication. So, this holiday is going to mess me all up. I'm going to forget what day it is. And, I have a doctor's appointment Monday. I have to go get a sonogram done. So I told, hang on, let me put it here. I told my granddaughter, I said that to my granddaughter yesterday. I said, oh, I've got to go to the doctor's Monday to go get a sonogram done. She looked at me and said, a sonogram for what? She said, oh, when I hear somebody say sonogram, I just think of somebody having a baby. <laughs> Thinking, no, honey, not here. Um, so I have to get a sonogram done for the tumor in my neck. So, so that six months came really fast. You know, they're only watching it like every six months to see if it's growing. That was a fast six months. Oh my gosh. Dairy, dairy stinks. I hate the smell of eggs. I hate the smell of cheese. But I love dairy. Other than milk, I can't drink it anymore. Okay. I took one Gaviscon. I ate my egg. I did up those few dishes. So I don't have to worry about dishes when I come in this evening. But I can just rest. Relax. But if my son is here, I won't relax. Because there's a few things around here I need done. And I need his help with. So. But I'll tell you what. I feel better having this area cleared out. Somebody wants the weight. Somebody's buying those. Um, there's a mirror over there somebody's buying and I'm just going to keep trying to sell stuff and take stuff to the donation center, take stuff to the scrap place until I can eventually see the light at the end of the tunnel. Golden Corral! We made it, but will we get it to eat? What's, that, what's wrong with that spot there? What? That spot that was back there. Uh, what is that? She doesn't speak. She doesn't associate with us. So here
here's, well, here's her meal. She's got turkey, potatoes, and green beans. Here's mine to start. I love about Golden Corral. So here's my, here's my Thanksgiving plate because all the Thanksgiving food was jam-packed. I was not going to stand and wait for people to get through fussing over the food. Ribs are good. Ribs, stuffing, mashed potatoes, turkey, and broccoli. And this one's just going to eat mashed potatoes and gravy all day. So here's mine. I can't wait to eat it. Okay, here's my next plate. I already took a bite of my pizza. I don't know if I'm going to eat that ham. It was like only a couple of slices in there. What's in your ice cream? And she's got a roll. It's just ice cream. She's got a roll with pie and ice cream. And I've got pizza with strawberry shortcake and a piece of ham. Wow, we are really, really, really... It's just um, chocolate vanilla. So, here's my next tray. I mean, my next plate of food. They're at the car. I can't even get in. Where are you going? I said I was sitting in the front. I can't hardly walk. I ate. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Somebody's going across the street in a in a wheelchair. Oh, it's the lady! It's the lady from there in the wheelchair. Oh my god! We went in, and it was okay. But now it's like freezing, and it's bad when your stomach hurts too, and you're shivering. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and share the story with you as quick as possible because my stomach feels like it's going to bust. I mean I eat way too much, way too much. So pray for me because I don't know that my intestines can handle all of that. Because um, yeah, I'm hurting really, really bad to the point where like it's painful to breathe. It was painful to walk. It, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. But I might when this subsides in an hour or so. I seriously might have to run to the grocery store and get some some prune juice or some prunes because this can't sit in my digestive system. I'm up walking. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm afraid if I lay down. Actually, I should keep my phone with me. I'm afraid if I lie down that this food is not going to go through my GI tract properly. So, for those of you who are not familiar with me, my channel, my health history, I've got this history of small bowel obstructions. Hang on, I'm going to grab my phone. Okay. Got my phone. I've only got my phone because I've had a couple small bowel obstructions. And I know how quickly they come on and how severe they are. And um, they're, they're really life or death moments because when the, when the intestines kink up and the bowels get cut off, then the, the poisons, the bile and the poisons um, and all the toxins begin to build up in your body because they can't pass through, they can't get out and they can kill you. So I've had a couple that have put me in the hospital and I've had some bad pains that have taken me to the ER. So I just want to be on the safe side because I definitely overdid tonight. I overate. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should lie down or walk. Um, but there's a couple times I've had really bad pains where I think the intestines kinked really bad and uh, I didn't have my phone near me and they were, it was scary. Uh, once I was in the bathroom and got into some really bad trouble in the bathroom 
and my phone was in the bedroom and I could barely get back to the bedroom to get the phone to call my son and then when I called him um, I couldn't reach him so I had to then try to call some of my family members back home to tell them you know that I was in trouble and to keep trying to call him why well, I don't know why I do this like I ate like I didn't have health problems because it was a holiday that was dumb that was dumb